we're going to teach you how to install the Hyper 212X Turbo heatsink and fan. All right, so now you have to be really careful. This is the bottom bracket. I've already installed the motherboard in this chassis. Okay. Just so you know, it's a Core i5-7600K. So it doesn't come with the uh, heat sink or fan. I'm right, building this for a customer. <clears throat> so now you have to be very careful. If you noticed, notice real carefully that there are, these are the screws for the underside. And then you have to make sure that you actually put this on like so, so those screws <laughs> won't affect the mounting of this plate, which is huge. You need to be able to realize that. And because then if you don't, what will happen is that it'll start to caddy corner and won't lay flat. What I'm doing now, I'm actually installing these nuts. This, this is what the bracket's gonna hold on to. So I'm actually installing them to come on this side. You can see the the screw that's through there, or the 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 uh, <laughs> I can't even the post. And then we simply just screw on the nut here, like so. We have a tool that came with it, which is this. We put this on like so, and then you can use your screwdriver to tighten it down. It's very, very, very helpful. And then I'm gonna do the other one here and we'll be back. So this is what it looks like with the plate installed properly. Now this is for the 1151 socket. And uh, it's working out rather well. So now we actually can install the heatsink and uh, put the thermal paste on and attach it and uh, we'll be good to go. What we're going to do is we're going to, I've already mounted this fan or plugged this fan in. So what we're going to do is we're going to face this fan heatsink going out the back because there's another fan here that'll exhaust that heat. So I mean, you don't want to put it in this direction. I guess you could, but I prefer putting it in this direction so it goes right out the back of the computer makes it nice and simple now we have this bracket world this is the the retention um, mechanism that's going to hold down the heatsink to the CPU so if you look carefully there is a nipple here sticking up okay and then a hole and that is for this part here this part will go into that nipple and then there's a little cutout right there with a little nipple will go and to prevent this from moving side to side. Actually install this through the heatsink. You have to stick it in like so. You have, to, you have to compress it. So in other words the original position would be like this for the CPU to actually mount. But since we can't get it through we'll have to shrink it down like so and then adjust it accordingly. Once we get it situated which is really nice about this particular mount is that you have to pull up on this screw and then change the location. There are three notches in this bracket. And you have to pull up on the screw before it's screwed in. So I actually situated it now. It's actually in good good shape. So now I'm actually screwing down the screws now for the heatsink. And that is it. Now the heatsink is mounted. Beautiful looking actually. It's really nice. This is how you install the Hyper 212X on the motherboard. Now this is the turbo, so you have two fans. So like I said, we're doing a, a push-pull scenario. In through here, out through here, and then out through here, out the back. Keep this CPU nice and cool. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Creative Labs iRoar. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the pre
Prius, the AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,